another evening just wanted to do a quick video I was just uh, listening to this uh, Stephen, Stephen A. Smith rant about the Black Lives Matter controversy and for me there's really no controversy I mean I had really had no problem with a lot that he said but sometimes it's, it's, it's the way it's said now when we say black lives matter we're di thinking different than everybody else of course all lives matter but we're talking about the injustices that we constantly receive Eric Gardner wasn't doing anything but he's dead and the police officer walks free Tamir Rice shot in the park 12 years old Trayvon Martin walking to the store with, for Skittles you plainly hear them say do not follow him he winds up dead Jordan Davis sitting in the car playing music I thought I saw a gun at least in that case after the second round they finally convict the dude Oscar Grant we're talking about the injustice when we say black lives matter and we wouldn't have to say it if there was some justice we can take it all the way back to the Rodney King beating let's take a look <laughs> not defend himself and those five cops walked originally then we had a whole big riot that's what we're talking about black lives matter let's actually get some justice you're talking about crime in the streets and things like that we've we've got two issues to deal with we've got an internal issue and an, an external issue and we're dealing with the external issue it's going to take a collective effort for us to deal with the internal issue. Now we can come to the table and discuss that, but I don't like to hear nobody saying anything when blacks are, are, are killing each other in the street because people are always saying things. People are down here mentoring and, and doing things and trying to make a difference. So how dare you have that same attitude as they have? That's all they show on TV. You're not going to get a lot of pub for the, the charter schools and the young men that are graduating and going on to college. But y'all going to hear about the 65% of black men in prison. Then I'm going to talk about the, the, the economic effects of that, of how corporations are now investing in prisons and profiting off black men we didn't put ourselves in this situation and it's been going on for years and years but people constantly want to act like oh just pull yourself up you wouldn't have to pull yourself up if people are constantly knocking you down it's crazy and I think that's the point that Stephen A is missing it's no easy solution when somebody's always trying to put their foot on your neck and you stand up and then you're punished he just experienced that a few months ago himself when he was suspended for a week so how can he open his mouth black people for the most part, and I'll say 90%, are productive citizens. And we're still put in this situation where they'll hold your job over your head because they don't 
like your attitude they'll switch it around where you don't get a promotion even though you've worked hard and proven and then when you catch up with everything they change the game that's the sickness that we're dealing with so black lives matter on every level not just for the people that are getting killed in the street but for the ones that are being persecuted at their jobs this is nothing this is nothing new I happen to like the black lives matter group because it's young people out there in the street trying to make a difference yeah they're gonna make mistakes they need guidance this is the first time that they're doing it but they're bringing attention to some things that needs to be brought to attention the cameras are now showing all this that we've seen for years and years and years it's like we're living in some twilight zone police brutality minimalistic thinking poor schools yeah we all can come to the table and I have a, a whole bunch of ideas we're so assimilated into the system of America that we can't even get out of it nor do we want to get out of it for those people that have some form of success they're happy to just deal with that success listen to this of all if you're going to talk about a revolutionary situation, you have to have people who are physically able to wage revolution, who are physically able to organize and physically able to do all that is done. Yeah, but the question is, more: how do you get there? Do you get there by confrontation, violence? Oh, is that the question you were asking? Yeah. See, that's, I mean, that's another thing. When you talk about a revolution, most people think violence um, without realizing that the real content of any kind of revolutionary thrust lies in the, in, in the principles and the goals that you're striving for, not in the way you reach them. On the other hand, uh, because of the way this society is organized, because of the violence that exists on the surface everywhere, you have to expect that there are going to be such explosions. You have to expect things like that as reactions. If you are a black person and live in, 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 in the black community all your life and walk out on the street every day seeing white policemen surrounding you, I, when I was living in Los Angeles, for instance, long before the situation at, in L.A. ever occurred, uh, I was constantly stopped. No, the, the, the police didn't know who I, who I was, but I was a black woman. I had a, had a natural, and, and they, I suppose, thought that I might be a, quote, militant. And when you live under a situation like that constantly, um, uh, and, and, then, and then you ask me, you know, whether I approve of violence. I mean, that just doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, first of all, the hypocrisy that we live under. We got this whole expectation we got to be different to get along in this society. Stephen A., you don't like the Black Lives Matter? You probably don't like the I am a man. Was that necessary? We knew we were men, but you still, we still stood out there getting beat, getting knocked down murdered, lynched. So nobody wants to hear your complaints about all lives matter. It's not about our lives. Because I don't turn on my TV every day and I'm not seeing white kids slaughtered in the street and no one persecuted. I'm not seeing a lot of people being persecuted on their jobs where someone always has a, 
a foot on their neck. The bias that's created every time something happens to a black individual, then we have to criminalize this person. We got to criminalize Trayvon. But all he was doing was going to get some Skittles and an Arizona to drink. We got to criminalize Sandy Bland. Make up lies. Oh, she's suicidal. You clearly saw from the video that he made a complete U-turn. He did come up behind her. A million times, I've gotten over to the side and not putting on the blinker either. So, yes, she had the right to be irritated. He escalated it. No one wants to hear that crap about I'm an officer. He was not in any danger. Any danger. And we, we may never know what happened in that cell, but she's dead. Yeah, black lives matter. Live with it. You don't like it too bad. We don't want to hear that all lives matter until they really matter, until they go to court and actually put some of these people away. Then it'll matter. Until then, I want them young brothers and sisters to say, yeah, all lives matter. Black lives matter. What the Panthers used to say, power to the people. But all the people have to collectively come together and act like Black Lives Matter. Then we can say all lives matter. I went off my on a little tangent today. But it's been bothering me. And I've been putting it off and putting it off. And today I said, you know, let's get this out. Black Lives Matter. Fighting against the pressure. Ooh, yeah. Battery down.